What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hey, it's the NFL Guys podcast. Um, week two is coming up very shortly. Tomorrow we got the Thursday night game. Um, hey, everybody how how are you guys excited for uh, week two of the NFL? Well, I am so glad you guys are excited. Um, week two is coming up. Jibby Baba Ganoush. Um, I'm hoping you have a better fantasy week. Uh, what is, What is your thoughts on uh, the week two of the NFL? I am so fucking ready. <laughs> All right. Jibby Baba Ganoush is ready. Uh, we are definitely getting ready to talk about um, week two two picks so why don't we just uh get right to it oh boy here we go all right so we have the um i don't know if you would say probably the best game coming up um i ooh, i don't know Anyway, tomorrow we've got the Thursday night matchup. <laughs> yeah, we have the Thursday night matchup uh, between the New York Giants and Washington team from Washington. Oh, this one was a tough one. Uh, it doesn't look like Ryan Fitzpatrick is healthy enough to go on Thursday. There is no idea how long he's going to be out. Um, uh, I w- I'm going to go with the Giants. Just because Daniel Jones, I think they have the advantage on the quarterback. Saquon is questionable right now. Um, they don't know if... Saquon's going to go Thursday, but they've got Kenny Galladay. I don't know if it's going to be close. I don't know if it's going to be a blowout. All I know is that I'm going to go with the Giants. And last last week I went 6-10, and 10, so I'm hoping that this week it's a little bit better outcome. Next we have the Raiders and Steelers. Oh, man. Let me tell you. Um, man, Steelers and Bills game was really close. Raiders went overtime with the Ravens on Monday night. Oh, man, this this could be a really good matchup. I mean, Derek Carr looked a lot better in the second half. Josh Jacobs, um, I think he's good to go. Waller had a great game. Um, is Big Ben going to bounce back? Is Juju Smith-Schuster going to have a bounce-back game? Is Chase Claypool going to have a bounce-back game? Is Najee Harris... Is this the game where Najee Harris blows up? They're playing at Pittsburgh. I kind of was leaning towards the Raiders. But they're playing at Pittsburgh. Um, I think the Steelers is going to bounce back and going to beat... The Raiders. So I'm going with the Steelers at home. The next matchup, we got the 49ers and Eagles. And 49ers could have really blown that game. Now, what does that say about the 49ers? Um, where are they at? I mean, it's only week one. Um, I think this is really going to define the 49ers. Not maybe that whole season, but just kind of a little bit scenario to say, you know what? This is where the 49ers are at right now. Um, Mostert's out for the whole year. Um, Elijah Mitchell, he really showed up. Um, I think Tevin Coleman uh, might get some playing time. I I think Mitchell's going to get the... Uh, most of the carries, and I'm hoping he blows up again because I did pick up 
Uh, Elijah Mitchell was always a big hot pickup this week. Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll talk a little fantasy here in a little bit. But uh, the Eagles surprised surprise me um, last week. I really honestly thought the Eagles were going to get blown out. But uh, Jalen Hurts looked really good. Devontae Smith looked really good. Um, oh, man. This is another tough matchup. Um, but I might be crazy for saying this, but I'm going to go with the Eagles. Um, I, I think the Eagles can beat the 49ers. I, I think they can do it. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to flap my wings and, 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 and pull for the Eagles this week. And then, um, the next game we have is the, uh, Texans and Browns game. And it's shake and bake time. Yeah, shake and bake Mayfield time. Uh, I like the matchup in this one for the Browns. Maybe not so much for the Texans, but I mean, the Texans was playing Jacksonville last week. And Jacksonville only won one game last year. But I was thinking Trevor Lawrence, Urban Meyer. This could be like a big win in week one. For the Jags over the Texans. But it was the other way around. Mark Ingram showed up. Brandon Cook showed up. Tyrod Taylor had a good game. But I think the Browns is a lot better team offensively and defensively. Um, I think Kareem Hunt's going to have a big game. I think Nick Chubbs is going to have a good game. As you hear uh, Shake and Bake Mayfield. I think he's going to have a good game. I like the Browns in this game. Um, the next matchup we've got is the Broncos and the Jaguars. Um, oh, can the Jaguars bounce back after that loss? Possible. Um, I think there's some rain in the forecast. I don't know how bad there's going to be rain. Uh, Tim Patrick is the guy. Is he the number one now that uh, Jerry Judy is going to be out? Um, is Jerry Judy going to be out four to six weeks or four to eight weeks, I think it is? Um, Tim Patrick, I really like. I had him last year. I picked him late up in the season as a flex. Uh, I think he did okay. Noah Fant, I think, is going to have a good game. Uh, how about Melvin, Melvin Gordon? I think Melvin Gordon's going to have a good game. And I'm just like, oh, man, I had this decision of, like, should I pick up Melvin Gordon? But it was, like, one of those instances where it's just like, who do I drop for Melvin Gordon? If Melvin Gordon's available, I don't know. I've always liked Melvin Gordon. I might try to drop somebody. I might try to make, like, a little bit of trade. Maybe not a blockbuster player for Melvin Gordon, but I love Melvin Gordon in this game. I love some Tim Patrick. I'm going to go with the Broncos. Uh, next up, we have the Saints and Panthers. Um, how about the Saints last week? Jameis Winston. Wow. Five touchdowns. Alvin Kamara had a great game. Can Jameis Winston repeat what he did last week? I mean, they're playing the Panthers. And I think the Green Bay Packers has a lot better team than the Carolina Panthers does. It's a possibility. I think it's going to happen. Um, I think Sam Darnold's going to get better. Robbie Anderson's going to get better. McCaffrey, obviously, is going to have another big game. Um, I I don't know. I'm going with the Saints. I I, I, I think Jamison Winston is gonna James Winston's gonna have another big ba- another blah, 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 another big game. Alvin Kamara is gonna have a big game. Um, going with the Saints. Next matchup we have Rams and Colts. That took me two seconds to decide. I'm going with the Rams. Uh, Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. Uh, that defense. I just think the Colts does not have a shot against the Rams. Uh, Stafford played really good, but you got to think they played against my Bears, you know. So, um, so, but I don't know. I like what I see with the Rams. I think the Rams is going to be a team that you could be like, whoa, 
I did not see this coming from the Rams this year. I think it's going to be one of those teams. I like the Rams over the Colts. Next up, we have the Bills and Dolphins. Um, I think that uh, Josh Allen's going to have a uh, bounce back game. So is Stephon Diggs. Um, I'm oh Bills defense. I don't think is the Bills defense really all that superb. You think everybody? I don't know. You think the Dolphins running game with Gaskins? Uh, Will Fuller's coming back. Oh boy, is he good? What what type of game is it going to take? A couple games for him to get hot, or is he going to be hot? Week one, and I'm going to be like, God damn it, I should have started Will Fuller as a flex. I think I am starting Jalen Waddle, though, in one of my teams. I don't know. I don't think I have... I think I have Will Fuller in a couple of matchups teams. Um, I don't think there is a way for me to substitute um, Will Fuller in. Just because I'm like, the Bills is a good team. And I don't know. Like, I could see the Dolphins having a stinkage of a game. I don't know. Because I think the Bills could are going to be pissed off. Josh Allen's going to be pissed off. I could see him going with uh, having a lot of touchdowns. Um, I don't know. I like the Bills in this game. Next matchup, um, we have the uh, Jets and pa uh, Patriots in this game. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I see the Patriots, obviously, uh, winning this game. I don't see the Jets uh, having any chance of beating Mac Jones and Bilicek's, uh a Patriots uh, team. I don't know. Uh, is Michael Carter going to have a bigger game? He only rushed for, like, six yards. I think I dropped him. I don't know. No, no, I didn't. I kept him. Because they said they think as the season's going on. I was listening to this one fantasy football analyst. And he was talking about Michael Carter. And he was saying he thinks he thinks Michael Carter is going to be one of those one of those weeks where he's going to be a hot free agent pickups. Um, it might take him a few games to get going. But once he gets going, he's going to be really good. I have confidence to him. I, I, I have confidence in him. I dropping him but I'm like you know what I'm going to give Michael Carter a little bit more time but I think it's going to be uh, return of the Mac too much of Mac Jones I think the Patriots pull this out oh my god here we go this could be another week of full on rant videos we've got the my Bears going up against the Bengals and Oh, Andy Dalton's old team. I You watch. It's going to be something crazy. Something crazy. Now, I should have said this for a bold prediction because this would have been a bold prediction that Andy Dalton goes for 283 and three touchdowns on Sunday. Um, Does he blow up against his old team? Um, Montgomery's going to have another good good running game. I think he's going to have another game. He's going to be over 100 yards. I think Cole Komet is going to play good again. Um, is Allen Robinson going to play better? Is Mooney going to play better? Is is Eddie Jackson going to actually play some defense and actually tackle? Oh my god. I could just see it. I could just see rant videos. Stay tuned. Rant videos coming on TikTok. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And on Twitter, I should say. I post on Twitter and TikTok and probably be on my YouTube page. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Joe Burrow looked really good. Jamar Chase looked really good. Um, you know, the Bears defenders has got to stay on Jamar Chase. Um, on T. Higgins, um, you know, is Joe Mixon going to be able to run through that defense? Uh, is Jason Peters going to play? There's a lot of question marks going into Sunday's game against the Bengals. And I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I almost went against my Bears again this week. Because I just felt like, you know what? Joe Burrow is a better quarterback than Andy Dalton. Uh, David Montgomery has the advantage over Joe Mixon. Uh, Bears have better receivers but and better defense. Ah. 
They're playing at Chicago. I'm gonna go with I'm going with the Bears. Prove me, prove me that I that that you were worthy of being picked this week. I don't know, but I'm going with them. Uh, next up, um, we've got the Vikings and Cards game. Oh, that Vikings and Bengals game last week. What a game! Um, is the Vikings going to bounce back? I am going to say probably not. I mean, I think Kyler Murray's go- Kyler Murray's going to have another big game. DeAndre Hopkins is going to have another big game. Now, the one player to really watch in this game is Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk might have been the hottest top three hottest wide receiver pickup in the NFL. And it, and 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 he got picked up left to right, and this was this best best game he had in his career. Um, does Christian Kirk blow up again and have another huge game, which I can see because the Vikings doesn't have the greatest defense. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see if if Christian Kirk blows up again. I picked up Christian Kirk on one of my teams. I think I dropped Marquez Callaway. Which is a good drop for a good pickup. So, you know, I wasn't losing anything there. Uh, I think it's going to be too much Hopkins, too much Murray for the Vikings. I think the Cardinals are going to pull this out. Oh, everybody, guess what we got? We've got my... Upset pick of the week between the Titans and Seahawks. Um, I feel like Tannehill's going to be pissed off. Derrick Henry's going to be pissed off. Um, and Julio Jones, I can't say for sure if he's going to blow up or not. But I, oh man, I could be so wrong with this. But I just feel like Derrick Henry, he didn't do shit last week. I think Derrick Henry is going to have a monster game because the Seahawks defense isn't the greatest. But I could see Derrick Henry blowing up. I don't know. I still, I think this could be a high score game if the Titans wake up. But I don't know. I just have this funny feeling that Derrick Henry is going to have a huge game. I'm going with the Titans. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And- exactly. I am serious. You can't be serious. Yep, I am serious. I I, 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 I think I'm going to go with the Titans. Oh, boy, I might have been a stupid pickup. It might be our stupid pick. But I don't know. I think the Titans bounce back. Um, next, we've got the Cowboys and Chargers game. Um, I think Dak's going to have a big game. Ezekiel Elliott, big question number one. What does he do in this game? I mean, obviously, the Buccaneers' defense is superb. Chargers' defense, maybe not as good. Um, yeah, I just I just feel like... I just feel like if, 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 Ezekiel, if, if Ezekiel Elliott only goes for, like, six carries for, like, 30 yards or 40 yards. There's going to be a lot of Ezekiel Elliott trades coming next week and a lot of drops. But I think I, I, I'm putting my oh, I'm putting my confidence in Ezekiel Elliott this week. I think he's going to have a bounce back game. Could go either way. Chargers Justin Herbert could have a monster game. Keenan Allen could have a monster game. But I don't know. I think it's going to be too much Dak for the Chargers. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Next up, we've got the Sunday night game.
Yep, the Sunday night matchup, and whoa, do we have a matchup. We have Mahomes versus Lamar Jackson. We've got the Ravens versus the Chiefs. And let me tell you, wow, that game Monday night between the Raiders and Ravens was so freaking good. Um, what is going to happen in this game? Is Tyson Williams going to have... Uh, a really good second game set in the week two. Uh, how is Lamar Jackson going to do? Is uh, Sammy Watkins going to have another good game? He had like 96 yards, which is great. Um, Mahomes, I see Tyreek Hill. Oh, man. Tyreek Hill had like 35 fantasy points, I think, on NFL Fantasy. Uh, NFL.com. It's fantasy. Um is he going to have another big game against this Ravens defense? Oh, boy. This was a tough pickup or pick. But I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, I think it's going to be too much of Travis Kelsey, too much of Patrick Mahomes, and too much of Tyreek Hill. Next, we have the Monday night game. <laughs> And the Monday night game, well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Packers versus the Lions. And uh, we all know how that Packer game fared last week against the Saints. The Lions almost beat the 49ers in a comeback. This was almost my upset pick. I was like, you know what? I just I just have a funny feeling the Lions is going to beat the Packers, which I don't I, I I thought about it for a split second. I'm like, no, no, no way, no way do the Packers start 0 and 2, especially with the Packers playing at Lambeau. Aaron Rodgers is going to have another bounce back game. Devontae Adams is going to have another bounce back game. Aaron Jones is going to have another bounce back game. Tanyan is going to have a good game, but I mean, oh, uh, Jimmy Baba Ganoush, um, what is your thoughts about this Monday night game and your Lions? Man, game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? Oh, yeah. Uh, phew. Oh, Jimmy, it could be a it could be a massacre. Packers are going to be pissed off. Um, you know. Um, oh, hey, I wanted to I wanted to your mom. I uh, I wanted to say something to your mom real quick. Um, Mrs. J uh Mrs. uh Baba Ganoush. Um, I know you play fancy football for the very first year. Um, and you have Aaron Rodgers and um, Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams. And you have a lot of Packers on your fantasy team. You even have Tanya. Um, what happens if Rodgers only has six points, Aaron Jones has seven points, Devontae Adams has nine points, Tanya has three points? Like, what, like, what, what are you, what, what, like, what do you what do you feel about those fantasy football players? Half of you assholes who the fuck you think you are, half of you cannot even play. Wow! Whoa! Whoa, Mrs. Baba Good News, man! I mean, if that happens in week two, oh man! I think I think Mrs. Baba Good News is pretty pissed off because she's like half of them can't even play. Man, man, oh man. So there you go. I'm going with the Packers, if I didn't say. I think the Packers are going to have a, a bounce-back game, and they, they're going to win easily, I think, in Lambeau. So here's my Week 2 pickups. Right, two, yeah, I keep saying pickups. My Week 2 picks. I'm going with the Giants on Thursday night. 
I'm going with the Steelers on Sunday. I'm going with the Eagles over the 49ers. I'm going with the Browns over the Texans. I'm going with the Broncos over the Jaguars. Saints over the Panthers. Rams over the Colts. Bills over the Dolphins. Patriots to defeat the Jets. The Bears over the Bengals. <sighs> Please. Bucks over the Falcons. Cards over the Vikings. My upset pick this week, I'm picking the Titans over the Seahawks. Cowboys over the Chargers. The Sunday night game, I'm picking the Chiefs over the Ravens. And I am going to go with the Packers on Monday night. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And now our next segment we've got is three fantasy players to shine. This is uh, a new thing I think I did this year on my NFL podcast where I'm picking one quarterback, one running back, and one receiver to shine. And I've got to come within five points of what I predict of them in fantasy. So um, for the quarterback this week I am going with Baker Mayfield I think Baker Mayfield is going to finish with at least 24 points um the running back I think Ronald Jones is going to have a bounce back game uh I think he's going to score 18 fantasy points and for the wide receiver I am going to go with Jalen Waddle is going to have 21 points so there you go ladies and gentlemen i've got to come at least five points but uh from what i predicted from those players in fantasy and next as um the great yakel looks into his crystal ball for my three bold predictions for week two All right, so um, my three bold predictions for this week is number three. And I did one last week the same way. But I am going to predict that the Raiders goes overtime with the Steelers. So this will be the two weeks in a row that the Raiders go in overtime. Um, my second bold prediction is I'm predicting Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubbs to have at least 100 yards rushing each, and they both have two touchdowns. That's a very bold prediction. And my number one prediction for week two, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very bold prediction because he's so on and off but I'm going with Jameis Winston to go again back to back five touchdowns in this week so there's my there's my bold prediction so we'll just see what happens so anyway ladies and gentlemen that is it for me today tonight I should say hopefully you have another good fantasy week if you did win in week one or you know i hope all the fantasy football players have a bounce back week in week two and hopefully you know you end up one and one and come out with a win hopefully your nfl team wins on thursday sunday or on monday night so anyway um i'm going to talk to you guys on which will be, I don't have my phone with me. Let me check. I can definitely check my work schedule and see when I am going to do the recap in the NFL. Oh, it's great. So um, it looks like on maybe Tuesday, Tuesday night, it looks like I'm going to be doing um, the recap of the NFL and Wednesday Again, I'll do be be doing my th week three picks and bold predictions and three fancy players of shine. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give me this video a like. Um, if you're on TikTok, 
you can follow me on there. It is the, hey, it's the NFL guy. Um, hey, it is that NFL guy. Uh, sorry, I, I need to change that name once I can end of September. So I'm going to change it to, hey, it's the NFL guy. But anyway, um, good luck this week in fantasy and on your teams. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night and take care.